Good day and welcome to our technical drawing tutorials with our topic quadrilaterals. And if you have any questions and comments, you could contact me at autocadalive at gmail.com. Today we continue with the construction of a rhombus and we are going to construct a rhombus given its diagonal AC equal to 90 millimeters and DB equal to 60 millimeters. We begin with our diagonal. Of course, you decide what length of line you're going to use, but ensure that this line is a construction line at an angle of your choice. We're going to label that construction line X and Y. We proceed with the two points given. First point given is AC 90 millimeters and I'm going to use my compass establish a radius of 9 centimeters which is equivalent to 90 millimeters and I'm going to place my compass point at any location so far on my line segment on my line sorry XY forming the line segment that is needed and that line segment is AC. I'm going to label it A and C. Our next step is to bisect our line segment AC. In order to do so, you must ensure that your bisector is, sorry, your, your radius rather, is equal to a distance which is greater than the estimated halfway mark of our line segment to be bisected. Keeping the same radius, very important, we move to our second point which is point A and we inscribe another arc which will intersect with our first arc drawn from point C producing two very vital points point one and point two. Our next step, we draw our perpendicular bisector that should pass through point one and point two. We must ensure at all times that we use construction lines, light lines, of course, in the event if we make an error, it will be erased quickly and clean, leaving our drawing sheet nice and neat. Our next step is to establish our next diagonal, which is 60 millimeters long. And for that, I'm going to move over again with my compass, this time placing the pivot point of the compass at the six centimeter mark, equivalent to 60 millimeters. And I'm going to establish that radius, I need to have my diagonal DB be equal to 60 millimeters. And so using that radius would not be sufficient. So I'm going to break it down from 60 to 30 millimeters. In so doing, I could use the point of intersection that I'm now going to label and that point of intersection is going to be labeled point three as my center. Again, my radius is not 60 millimeters, but 30 millimeters or three centimeters, the halfway mark for our diagonal line B, BD. using point three as our center, inscribe an arc on our perpendicular bisector, thus giving us point B and to the top, point D. Our final step is to join points A to point B and for that, you want to ensure that you use 
again a construction line if you notice I have changed my pencil from an HB pencil to a 6H pencil one of my all-time favorites but there are various grades that you could use and they range from 2H down to 6 and 7H of course the higher the number the lighter the line the harder the pencil we join now point D to point A and then points B to point C again must be very careful as to how you join your points to minimize error and the more careful you are the more accurate your drawing will be you must ensure that your pencil points are as fine as they can be to ensure maximum accuracy with every line drawn our next step having concluded with the joining of the points we darken our lines and so we begin with line AB using object lines so our drawing our required drawing can stand out in the midst of all of our construction working I'm going around that object line to avoid having the set square pass over it to limit the amount of pencil smudging pencil point smudging or lead smudging and also to ensure that our drawing sheet remains nice and neat we then move to point CD or line CD we darken that line And then we darken our line AD. And with that, we come to an end of our construction of a rhombus given its diagonal AC 90 millimeters and DB. 60 millimeters. Thank you for viewing.